video we're going to be talking about transaminase. Now transaminase are the enzymes which catalyze a reaction of transamination. Now what a transamination means, it's the, it's the transfer of an aminic group, so NH2 or NH3 plus at physiological pH, uh, from an amino acid to an alpha keto acid. Now what's an alpha keto acid? It's an acid, so it's got a carboxylic group, uh, and bond to that is a carbon. The first carbon bond to the carboxylic group is an alpha carbon. This carbon is a keto uh, carbon, so it's it's got a double bond with an oxygen atom, and it's bond on one side to the um, to the carboxylic group and on the other side to another lateral chain which can which may vary from uh, molecule to molecule anyways the reaction consists in the transfer of this aminic group to the alpha carbon of the alpha keto acid and therefore we have uh, the transformation of the amino acid into its corresponding uh, alpha keto acid because the amino group goes away and it's uh, substituted by a keto group so C double bond to an O whilst the uh, alpha keto acid is transformed into its corresponding amino acid now what's the use of this? Well, the use is um, to isolate the carbon skeleton from the amino acid. So it's got an energetic purpose of uh, getting energy from amino acids, so from the proteins we eat, and or uh, proteins of our own organism, uh, which we need. For example, muscles, after a, a long diet, they start decreasing in volume and that's also due to the fact that some of the proteins in our muscles are being used by our own organism uh, for energetic purposes and uh, you transfer the aminic group and you transform that amino acid into an alpha keto acid which can then be used in the Krebs cycle or uh, in other types of uh, energetic uh, ways, mainly the Krebs cycle, by our organism. And you transfer the amino group on, on other um, alpha keto acid, which becomes an amino acid. But now, the purpose of having uh, this uh, transfer of amino group is that um, this way you're going to have just a small amount of uh, amino acids of which you're going to get rid of because um, you, you're not going to use the amino acid the way it is for energetic purposes. So um, the fact is that enzymes are very specific for their substrate. So uh, you cannot have, um, I mean, it, it would be, you would need to have a lot of enzymes in order to um, cope with a lot of amino acids. Since there's about 20 amino acids, you would need at least uh, 20 enzymes for to work for every one of these amino acids. This way you transfer the amino group from uh, one of the 20 amino acids and you transfer it uh, to an alpha keto acid but these uh, the types of alpha keto acid to which you transfer the amino group are a uh, few like there's about four of them so if you have four of them, you're going to just use four enzymes, four types of enzymes to work on these, uh, I mean, these amino acids you've got now. So uh, already like that, you're going to have four enzymes instead of 20. Now d that's just to give you an idea. So it's, uh, it's a way of saving energy. Now, um, as, y as you saw in the images, the amino group is being transferred thanks to the transaminase and transforms the amino acid inst into its corresponding alpha keto acid. Well, the alpha keto acid is being transformed into its corresponding amino acid. And some of the alpha keto acids which are usually used are uh, pyruvate, which is then transformed into um, alanine or oxal oxalacetate 
um, which is then transformed into uh, aspartic acid or uh, alpha ketoglutarate. And uh, another amino acid which is used is a glutamic acid. Then um, the aminic group will eventually be eliminated, especially in the in the liver, and then throughout the kidneys uh, by the formation of urea. Now, in the in the liver, um, this this a lot of these reactions occur in the liver. Some of them occur in the muscles. So a way. Um, Transaminations can be used is to identify uh, eventually a sort of tissue damage. For example, if you have problems to your liver, you're going to have a high level of certain um, transaminase. If you have a problem to your heart, you're going to have some other uh, 